the year 1933, Friar Lord Costa, the priest of Smelter Town Church, had a vision to erect a statue of Jesus Christ atop the peak. In 1939, Friar Costa employed a Spanish sculptor by the name of Herbicide Solar to carve a 29-foot tall statue out of blocks of limestone. It sits atop a 13-foot base, giving it a total height of 42.5 feet above the ground. The statue was completed on October 29, 1939 and still stands today. you guys we're back with another v-rocks adventure we're here at the beautiful and holy mount cristo ray this mountain does border mexico just to this side and the united states to this side there are a lot of uh people who use this mountain to cross illegally into the united states so there's border patrol who heavily monitor this place um but it's also a really beautiful mountain just beautiful views you can see the franklin mountains just to this side in front of us and you can see Mexico, the state, which is just over here. We have Mexico to this side. We have El Paso to this side. And man, it's just such a beautiful sight and a beautiful thing to see. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Please don't forget to subscribe. Come along with us on the journey as we trek up to this place. And guys, this road is, is horrible. With the establishment of many popular railroads coming through El Paso, the community of El Paso's population exploded bringing much industry to the area. American Smelting and Refining Company built a large smelter operation just east of Mount Crystal Ray, just across the Rio Grande River. And the company town of Smelter Town was built. Smelter Towns where the employees of the smelter lived, had a church, grocery store, school, and many other businesses. This is a town that Lourdes Costa was the priest of and had the vision to place a statue of Jesus Christ atop the peak in 1933. A year later, a wooden cross was erected. Then later the same year, it was replaced by a bigger iron cross. Although it was not named Mount Cristo Rey at this time, it was called Rodadero P. What's up, you guys? So we're here at Mount Cristo Rey. We just entered the park. You can see the gates right there behind me. We're making our way up now. So this mountain is a pilgrimage site, which means that on Good Friday, thousands and thousands of people uh, make their way to the top of this mountain. It's part of a pilgrimage, and there's stops along the way where you pray and certain things like that. This mountain is also a route in which people seeking to illegally cross into America take. So there's lots of border patrol station around this area that watch it constantly because this mountain does border Mexico the south side of the mountain is actually Mexico this side is actually New Mexico which is right across the street from basically Texas and El Paso so if you guys see that that white cone right there that is the Mexico border or basically that's where the United States and Mexico meet on this mountain so half of this mountain is in mexico and half of this mountain is the united states so i'm pretty far away so i'll go ahead and zoom out so you guys can see about how far we are away from that perfect closed bottle of water this is what people leave out here for the immigrants who are crossing legally you know this is the middle of the desert you could die out here if you don't have water so I'm not snitching. I'm just, I'm just showing what's out here. I ain't about to fuck it up. There's people who like them anti, whatever the fuck you call them people, anti immigrants who hate Mexicans and shit like that. They come out here and stab the water and let it all pour out. Seriously, that's fucking evil. We have another example of water bottles left out for the people to cross. That one has something tied to it, but it looks like it's empty. Someone must have drank it already, or they tossed it. Right here next to one of the pilgrimage sites. Mount Crystal Ray was formed about 50 million years ago when magma under intense pressure was pushed upwards through the cracks and crevices in the layer of rock beneath the ground. 
As the magma neared the surface, a bulge formed. Typically, with continued pressure, this bulge would burst into a volcano. However, the pressure ceased and the magma cooled before an eruption could occur. The bulge remains on the surface of the earth and after millions of years of erosion, the softer soil on the surface of this protrusion is washed away, leaving the harder volcanic rock exposed. As recent as 3.5 million years ago, a lake covered the region and the mountain was an island with the top 800 feet protruding from the water. You guys were here on the second switchback. Just made it past the first. The views up here are incredible. We still got a long way to the top though. Um, and we're in a crunch of time, it's 5 o'clock and the sun sets at 7, so we're trying to hurry up and make it to the top. And hurry up and get back down, at least before sunset, so I gotta stop. It's taking breaks to record, so I'm gonna walk and vlog it, or whatever this is called. Guys, it's so beautiful up here. We're almost to the top. Guys, so we're taking a small little break, but we're trying to hurry up because we are on a time crunch. It's probably like 5.30 by now, and we still have to reach the top before the sun sets. Um, but yeah, right behind me right there, that is El Paso, right over here. And right over here to this side. Here, just right over there, that is Juarez, Mexico. And right over here, back here, this is New Mexico. The top is right there behind me, and the moon is like literally right behind us, so it looks really cool. Made it to the other side, and it's incredible views like just magnificent views right there. We have the border wall just right here, and we have Juarez over there. We have Sutherland Park, New Mexico right here, and just on the other side over there is El Paso, Texas. And we can start to see that we're pretty much at the top now. We can see the cross. I'm gonna flip you guys around so you guys can get a good view of it from where I'm at right here, but we're almost there, guys. It looks beautiful. We're basically, we made it to the top, and that is Mount Crystal Race Summit. We made it. We're summiting to the top of Mount Crystal Ray. Final steps approaching, you guys can see mountains in the background we got Franklin Mountains in El Paso back there we got Sunland Park New Mexico back there and right over here we have the city of Juarez Mexico over there man this is just amazing let's check it out <laughs> so wait till we get to the other side of this so you guys can actually see what it looks like because it's not just a cross it's Jesus on the cross so once we get around there you guys will be able to truly see the monument at the top. It stands about 20 feet tall. Whew, I'm tired.
cool. We're on our way down. We're trying to hurry up. But look how beautiful that sunset. Come with, come, just follow me, follow me around here. Just, just follow me, look at how beautiful this is. Wow. Sheesh. Sheesh. So I put the drone up right here? That's a nice colors right here. No. How beautiful Sheesh. and beautiful the sky is. All right, you guys, you probably can't see me, but we are on our way down the mountain now, and the sun has set all the way, but the sunset was beautiful, uh, making our way down Mount Cristo Ray. And the city's lit up. You guys can see there in the distance, El Paso, Texas. Look at that. That is crazy. You guys got to come to New Mexico. They got the most beautiful sunsets in the world. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.